Aquitaine Park. First time here, taking my nephew Darius fishing. See if we can catch some fish. It's a nice area, perfect place for a day out fishing as well as a picnic. Just want to hang out by the water. So going online, seems like there's bass in here, crappy rock bass, sunfish. Darius has his first fish and it's a crappy. All right, bring it in Darius. That's a cool fish. Darius, show me your crappy. All right, let's put him back, catch him another day. There he goes. Looks like Darius has a second fish. Same type or different? It's another crappy. All right. So the two setups that have been successful today is this one, just a yellow jig head with a white two centimeter Berkeley power bait minnow. Looks like this, great for crappie as well as any small panfish, even bass will hit this. And we've also been using this little yellow worm, also made by power bait. It's actually trout worms, but the red and the yellow seem to be working for these small panfish. Hopefully we'll catch a bass as well. Darius looks like he's got next fish. Let's see what it is. And it's another crappy. All right, bring it over, Darius, for another picture. Hold it up by the line. Good job. Hold it. This is Darius' first time fishing for many, many years. At least five years. We went to the islands when he was smaller. I can't get it out. And he's like, hey, Tito Mike, let's go fishing again. So here we are, seven minutes from his house at Lake Aquitaine or Aquintine. All right, good job. So there is just grab it and put him back in the water. All right, catch you another day. So the two rigs we've been working today is just a simple, you know, simple bobber on a size 12 hook and there's that Berkeley power bait and you now it seems to be working the other rig we've been working today is a drop shot rig with either the minnow or the worm about 12 to 14 inches above the drop shot let's see if we can catch some more fish so it looks like there's a huge koi in the water right there. And we've seen some huge carp, an all white koi, as well as that orange, white, and black one. In here though. Yeah, someone must have released him in here for yeah, sure. Again, he's turning back. I don't think the koi will eat it. You need like koi food. <laughs> yeah. Maybe some corn or something. Yeah, they probably eat the same thing at a uh, carp eats. Darius the crappy master gets another one. Awesome. I'll hold him for you. See if you can take the hook out. So crappy are supposedly, well not supposedly, really delicious food food but we're gonna practice catch and release so that we can enjoy this lake for years to come all right Darius hold them say bye to the delicious crappy there he goes hey when you're Toronto shore fishing and you see garbage in the water just pick it up even if it's not yours Let's get this garbage out of here. Can you grab that? Thank you. So we're just about to leave. Just saw a fish jump over there. Great place if you want to check it out. A lot of panfish. There's my nephew Darius. So if you ever come here, there's not a lot of places where you can fish from shore. 
try to find that little viewing deck in this wooden dock. It'll be a good day to catch some panfish and maybe catch a bass. Thank you.